Hey everyone, welcome to another episode from Ampro Engineering. What we have here is a vehicle that was built by my friend Showdog. Some of you who have been longtime fans of the channel do recognize his name and there is a link up right now to who Showdog was and his amazing skills. This was one of his simpler builds, but I had to showcase it here because there's just something about this. He had a number of vehicles that were MGD, we'll say inspired. And as remarkably simple as this livery is, it really looks like it could have been box art. Absolutely sensational. Now it's all a black body with only the bottom portion painted in gold. This trim line here in gold is a sticker. It seems to be a two millimeter thick piece of gold tape. Very easy to put on. The red and the white up here, same thing. They're just stickers. The MGD, I don't know if he had found that on an existing RC car uh, sticker set. It's very possible. Perhaps there was a NASCAR or some other race car that had this sticker set. He's got it here on the hood as well. And on this side, he has this. And in fact, I didn't realize this until just right now that he's got this beautiful, it looks like a metalized Tamiya sticker here with the with the uh with the tamiya logo there no idea where it came from if anybody out there knows please let me know i would really like to know where that uh can be sourced overall a very simple set of details i mean he didn't even do the markers i don't know if he hadn't got to them yet and it's quite likely he hadn't normally he does do that but i'm not seeing them here so i think what had happened was he had gotten the body done put on some wheels and by the way these are not chrome wheels these are polished aluminum wheels with some gold hexes i've purchased these before they're not very good um, they look fine but the, they don't fit the tool very well the anodization seems to come off the first time you use them but cosmetically between the wheel and the nut inside it's got a it kind of gives a really cool reflection and it looks awesome i just noticed also a custom license plate here to mgd <laughs> Okay. So it's got auto graphics as the plate frame. So perhaps that was an autographic set with the MGD. Um, these are individually placed letters. So he actually did that fantastic license plate. As for the rest of the vehicle, this is a fairly box stock lunchbox. Quite odd for the type of vehicle that Show Dog used to build. We do have some factory optional short CVA Tamiya shocks. They do still sell these, but they're not the same. Um, I think they're a more generic size with different um, eyelets here at the bottom. These should be yellow and oh, it's not even attached yet. Oh, that's broken. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. The gearbox is actually broken. Oh, dear. That's a bummer. But these should be yellow, so I don't know if he didn't have them or if he just wanted to go with the stock shock bases for the lunchbox. I, I can't tell you that. It's likely he did because these are designed for the ball stud on both sides here at the lunchbox. Underneath, effectively, what we have is a brand spanking new lunchy. I mean, it's never been, yeah, it's never been off the shelf. You know, these are a dime a dozen, so there's really no value in the chassis other than this body. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, and I would love to drop this body onto one of my WPL-based scalers. It would look like a delivery van. This vehicle does have a new home. One of uh, Show Dog's friends, and also my friends, who is Crash Kramer at Tamiya Club, see you booth on Instagram. Uh, he did purchase this from his son as well as a couple of other vehicles. Those will also be featured very soon. 
but I have had this in my possession about eight months now, and I'm tired of taking care of it. So I'm going to give this to its new owner by packing it all up and sending it off. But prior to doing that, I really did want to showcase what Show Dog did. This should really prove to you that even if you feel like you're not the world's greatest painter, a couple of stripes, a really simple paint job, and you've effectively got yourself a showstopper here. I mean, let's be real. This thing looks sensational, whether you like MGD or not. I, I really could care less, but it's just got a fantastic look. Don't get me wrong. Although I complain about box art all the time, my lunchbox is box art because I think it looks fantastic. But looking at this, I'm like, man, maybe we need a Mountain Dew themed lunchbox. My friends, thank you all so much for watching. I know this was a very, very quick video, but it was a quick video about a very talented person, a very neat build, and I just wanted to show this beauty off while I had it. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.